mind frame. I I hope the phone doesn't fall down because it's kind of balanced precariously on a bridge. This bridge. But I had this quick thought here. I mean, a lot of you people that watch this channel watch it because you're looking to make extra money. And that's what, well, it kind of made me start thinking about jobs and work in general. I mean, there are a lot of jobs out there which suck. I mean, we are approaching Christmas, so you can always go work at Best Buy or Canada Computers or some other retail shop and get all those holiday dollars for a minimum wage. Or you can go out and kind of do your own thing. And when I say do your own thing, I mean, there's courses that require education. Obviously, all the trades. There's nothing wrong with a good trade because trades will pay you forever. And then even when you're retired, you're still going to make money because it's one of those jobs that are always going to be in demand. And not just, you know, plumber, electrician, etc., that kind of trade. I mean, there's also massage therapists, for example, and professional drivers. And it's the professional driver part that got me thinking there's a definite shortage of drivers out there. Like, I know there's all these Uber drivers and Lyft drivers and everything like that, but you know what we're really missing, too? A friend of mine was telling me about this, is people that will drive for seniors. So senior citizens don't have a smartphone, and they can barely use Facebook, but they still need to go out there and have someone take them grocery shopping or run them to the hospital or go pick up their pills and all that kind of stuff. If you target that kind of market, I think you'll do okay. And the same as if you target that kind of market for education when it comes to learning about how to use certain aspects of social media or just computers in general, you will do okay. And then there's also the driving of people from your small town, wherever it might be, to the next major airport. Like sure, they might ask a family member to do it, but you know what? If you put that service out there and say, I will take a family of four or five or whatever it might be from my location here to the airport here for a family fee of, say, $120 for the family, it's something to keep in mind. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities to make money out there. You just have to go out there and do it. You see how I've done it here. I've done the flipping. I've done the yard sailing. I've done the Uber Eats and everything else. And that's all kind of... I make more from the flipping than I ever did from Uber Eats. And I actually make more, even more from the YouTube videos than I do from flipping sometimes. So you're the only one in charge of your destiny. You're the only one that can actually go out and do this. So just grab some ideas and run with it. What have you got to lose? And that is my two-minute rant for the day. So I'm going to get back to walking the dog. Thanks for watching this with me. There's the dog. She's lying down waiting patiently for me to finish this walk. Enjoy your day. Talk to you later. If you like these kind of videos, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk again. Thanks for watching. Where's the off button?